Well, hello friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is the weekly review of our daily chakra energy readings and this is week five of 2023 january 29th to february 4th so this is the week five review we are already five weeks into the new year well heading into six now so yeah, that is pretty great. I hope that you have enjoyed the first five weeks of this year. So, yeah, I was thinking at first that I might stop doing the weekly reviews because not very many people watch them, but then I was told that the weekly reviews are important because they help you to review the week so they help you to go back within your mind and recall what happened on you know a particular day and being able to you know recall information is a good exercise and a good practice for our brains so even though not as many people watch these weekly reviews i am going to continue to do them so because if anything it is good for my brain <laughs> to help <laughs> to recall these things anyways so yeah so with that being said all of these readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message so whatever message in here resonates for you is the message that is meant for you so yeah um so yeah so if your spirit has led you here your guides your ancestors your higher self the divine or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it then there is something here for you so let's get into our review so Sunday through Saturday is how I do the review so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday the 29th 30th 31st 1st 2nd 3rd and 4th of February so yeah so let's get into this review so I am just going over each of these cards briefly and if you would like to see the full message for that day then you can go to that particular day's reading so sunday the 29th of january we had the seventh chakra come through and do note the symbol on see if it could focus yeah, the symbols on the cards. So, seventh chakra, our crown chakra, card number 72. My thoughts, feelings, and actions are increasingly oriented upon the unifying force of the creator. My thoughts, feelings, and actions are increasingly oriented upon the unifying force of the creator. So, basically, on Sunday, we were getting... Thoughts of unification, the unifying force of the creator. So the ability of the divine to bring people together and not separate them. It is humans that separate one another. It is not the divine. The divine is all about all of us unified being together so think back to sunday and see how this energy applies to you as far as what type of thoughts did you have thoughts of coming together with somebody or did you have thoughts of just bringing peace to a situation or you know however it applies to you then you will know on monday we had the energy of the fifth chakra the fifth chakra is our throat chakra. So this is the card of Monday, January 30th. And 
So if you want to go back and watch that particular message, then you can watch that. But our fifth chakra has to do with our throat chakra communication, the way that our organs communicate to us, the way that we communicate with the outside world, all of that, in, and the way that we express ourselves. So think back to Monday and think how you came into something having to do with your communication, having to do with expression, the way that you express yourself. It could have been something as simple as maybe you were thinking that you needed to express yourself more, or it could have been somebody came and expressed themselves to you. So however the energy applies to you within your own journey, you will know. Allow your intuition to guide you through the week and see when, when these energies apply to you and because they could apply at any time. This is simply the energy of the week. So these could have happened on different days. So if I'm reading a Tuesday energy, maybe it happened to you on Thursday. So that's the synchronicity there. It doesn't have to necessarily be on Tuesday, you know. So however it applies to you, you will know. Trust yourself. Use your intuition. So, so the energy that we had for January 31st was the secondary chakra elbows. Card number 105, and definitely notice the symbol there. I live each of my relationships as intensively as is good for me at the moment. I live each of my relationships as intensively as is good for me at the moment. So basically, we are being guided to be discernible with our relationships and how much energy we put into whatever relationship at any given time. So if there's a relationship that doesn't deserve, well, not deserve, but doesn't need all of your energy at the time, then you conserve that energy and you keep that energy for yourself and, you know, apply it to wherever else is needed. So, so think back to at any time during the week was, there a time where you realized that you needed to maybe reserve some of your energy from someone or something and need to apply it somewhere else. Maybe you just wanted needed to keep that energy for yourself so that you could continue to fill your own cup. So however it applies to you within your own journey, you will know. I definitely know that that is an energy that was even though the card came out on Tuesday, it was a Friday and Saturday energy for me where it was me practicing that. So, that's, as I said, you know, just use your intuition as far as when these energies come into play for you. So, on February 1st, we got two cards coming out for us. The sixth chakra and secondary chakra yang and this card does have a very light you know like pattern on it um so the sixth chakra is our third eye chakra and our secondary chakra of yang that is our masculine energy so i feel that at some point during the week you or you know all of us we're being more in tune with our masculine energy. Our masculine energy is the energy that takes action. It's the energy that gets things done. Like, just think of what masculine energy represents. Like, it's, you know, action. It's a protecting energy. It's a strength energy. So, maybe at some point during the week, you just stepped into your own strength. Or... You know, however it applies to you, within your own journey, you will know. And with our sixth chakra, our third eye chakra, that energy is our intuition. And that is our, you know, our higher knowledge, our seeing the bigger picture in things. And 
the funny thing is that the sixth chakra is, I believe it's like a feminine, it's a yin energy. And so on February 1st, we both, we got both masculine and feminine energy coming out for us, which for me also means to think about maybe like that most of our energy is coming into balance so that we ourselves as you know those who are watching this are coming more into balance with our masculine and feminine energy equally so think back to throughout the week and see how that energy applies to you now on the second February 2nd on 2 2 <laughs> 2 2 2 23 <laughs> um, we had the secondary chakra knees so take a look as well at the symbol and card number 114 birth and death are important transitional stages in the infinite process of life Birth and death are important transitional stages in the infinite process of life. So with this card, we were guided to take a look at the birth and the death cycles within ourselves. So not only like outwardly and maybe, you know, you have a new birth in your life or a recent death in your life, but the the cycles that also take place within us, the cycles of in order for us to be one version of ourselves, another version of us must die. So that happens a lot during life. And as we're here, you know, on the earth plane, we all go through a lot of growth and transitions and evolving. And as we do it, there are parts of us that are being that are dying and being reborn and it's a non-stop cycle so so I feel that at some point during this week you would have tuned in to that energy maybe there was a part of yourself that you noticed no longer exists and a new part of yourself is now here so however that applies to you you'll know <laughs> So the Friday energy was the auric field of the emotional body. Card number 12, I lovingly and happily perceive the feelings of other beings. I lovingly and happily perceive the feelings of other beings. So I feel with this card that we are all being, well, we are all getting to the point where we are more able to feel the energies of those around us. So what we're being guided to do is to lovingly accept and happily see that that is what's happening and to, you know, if you need to have healthy barriers put up for yourself, then do so. Um, cause what we need to realize is when we are picking up other people's energies and to not allow that energy to affect our own energy. We should always be in the energy of love and, you know, truth and happiness. Well, not always. We all, you know, our emotions do happen, but we should at least be aware when we are perceiving the feelings of other people around us and not our own. And so, and with that, once we become more aware, then we are able to be more discerning about our own actions. So think back through the week and see if there was any ever a time that you were absorbing other people's energies or realizing that you were perceiving someone else's energies and not your own actually so all right so last but not least we have the sixth chakra card number 66 and notice the symbol there it definitely has a lot going on 
So that's the third eye chakra. So the sixth chakra is our third eye chakra. And the affirmation is all parts of my body, my mind, and my soul work together harmoniously. All parts of my body, my mind, and my soul work together harmoniously. So with this affirmation, we are getting ourselves in alignment, mind, body, and spirit. And when we are operating out of an aligned energy, we are more at peace. We are less likely to allow things to come in to bother us because we have a sense of self without about us, about us that no one can really penetrate or, you know, knock us off once we are established within our body, mind, and soul. So I feel that this energy was coming through for us to not only to remember, to remind us to work on that, but to also let us know that that's where we are going. So, so that is the week five review. I want to thank you all. If you have decided to watch this video, I appreciate you and I love you so very much. And uh, yeah, I hope that you all found something that you resonated with in this message. And if you did, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. So thank you, thank you, thank you all once again for being here. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one.